Hello, people of New World. It's me, Lamani, and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to give you another gold making video about how to actually make gold with the spring event. Now, some of you might be saying this is obviously self explanatory. You buy things with coins, but I don't think a lot of people are actually thinking properly and what you should be doing so that you can truly maximize your income. So, first things first, obviously, you can do pretty much anything. You can run around, grab your flowers, kill your bugs, get a bunch of tokens, and then say, hey, I'm going to go buy armor patterns and sit there and wait, and I can flip them. With the buffs to the event, I would argue that buying the patterns, although it is a good option, especially if you want to craft your own gear long term, this is just completely decimating the crafting market because it's so much easier to craft with these green patterns and they have better perk pools. The buff from the event where we all get more tokens from doing pretty much everything has completely ruined this option. It's not going to be your long-term gold making option, in my opinion, unless you simply use these patterns for crafting bis. If you wanna just gamble, hit the slot machine and buy as many patterns as you can and sit there and try and pump out bis items to sell, you go and do that. But for those of you who aren't looking to do that kind of flip, what do I think is the better alternative to actually making money? Personally, and because I'm going to make a YouTube video, more people are going to do it. It's probably going to make it worse. So haha, get wrecked. I'm just kidding. But the reason why I don't think it's actually going to be that bad is if we go for Springtide Drams, the luck consumable, I think this is a solid option moving forward simply because it is a consumable, but also with how frequently they will be used. So yes, right now they're worth probably about 10 gold or so. They only cost five tokens. But after the event, people are going to be pumping through these. If you're somebody who does chess runs and you do believe in luck, you're a professional chess runner, like a large chunk of the new world population, you will be pumping through these springtide drams constantly. And because yes, they stack, but they're not supposed to right now, you also do get more luck than you would other items because it does scale, but it only lasts 25 minutes. So if you were to try and use this for a luck boost throughout the course of a chess run, you're going to need a couple. So people will be pumping through these every day and every day and every day. If you look at the course of a year, eventually you're going to hit a point where these are still going to be very, very worth it, but they're going to hit a significantly higher price than they would right now. I would highly recommend using the Springtide Drams as your long-term investment opportunity instead of the patterns or if you get enough patterns of each one where you feel like you're in a comfy spot. I just think this is going to be the better long-term hold simply because of how frequently they'll be consumed and by how many people will actually want to consume them. Now, here's the secret, top secret, big investment you could be doing that might not work and you might just get mad at me. I think these seasonal dyes are actually a good move if they change some things. So if you look right now, there are three seasonal dyes, none of which can be crafted by any means. You can only buy them from the event. If you go on the trading post, you can set up a buy order to buy any of these three dyes, but you can't sell them right now. So somewhere we have an error. Either they were never meant to be able to go on the trading post and somebody messed up and you can set up a buy order or they were meant to go under the trading post and something's been bugged and you're not able to actually sell them. So now here's the thing. You could be sitting here and stocking up on these dies because there's probably not many other people who are because they aren't super duper incredible, although they are some neat colors, at least two of them. Caveat to this is that they are event specific and cannot be crafted and anything that is exclusive to a certain timeline or event, people will pay more for. It's a more exclusive look for transmog, especially with that coming, but just for the actual end game of playing dress up, people will pay bonkers amounts of monies for dies if nobody else can get them. So if they happen to change this and something goes in where you actually are able to sell them and you want to start investing your tokens into the die market, I think as long as that change happens, and I think it's like a, a coin flip of whether or not this ever does, this could be a really solid investment. Nonetheless, I think patterns, yes, you'll make money, but not as much as you think you will long-term unless you start gambling them. I think luck consumables are the better option. And two, if you want to do a low-key, big investment opportunity, potentially dies could pan out for you. That's all I have. Hopefully I ruined the market, but as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. Peace.